Welcome to the text messaging workflow lesson in EasyU. Keeping a solid line of communication with your clients is of the utmost importance when delivering a high level of customer service, and in today's world, that means being able to communicate through text messages. The text messaging feature of the communication center will allow you to do this, let's find out how. To navigate there, hover over the communication center icon and click on calls and messages under the voice and text section. On the History tab, you can see all the sent and received text messages in the system. By default, this list is filtered on a rolling weekly basis, but you can set any date range as a filter. You can also set filters for applicant, agency, or branches, phone number, message contents, and more. The Actions icon in the far right column allows you to send a text reply to a received message, which is indicated in the Status column. If the customer has multiple phone numbers on the account, you'll see a drop-down in the reply to field to select which number you want to send a message to. You can also add attachments to a message by clicking the paperclip icon. Documents can be selected directly from the Documents tab or uploaded from your computer. When ready, click the Import button. As soon as you're done with your message, click the Send button. The History tab is great for keeping up with all of the texts coming through the system, but if you want to initiate a text to a specific customer, you can do so from their account page, which we'll discuss later in the video. Next, we'll review the Unresolved tab. If you receive a text from a number that is not in your system, the message will go to your Unresolved tab. This can also happen if the phone number is associated to multiple customers in your system. Any line item here refers to a text message that cannot be auto-matched to any number on any account. It will be up to you to resolve these messages as they come into your system, so we recommend checking the Unresolved tab throughout the day as you are able. Go ahead and click on the Actions icon in the far right column. Here, you can reply to the text, assign the number to an applicant, or delete the message altogether. Assigning the number to an applicant in your EasyLink system will resolve the message and move it to the History tab. Click on the History tab now. You can see that our customer's message is listed here. Additionally, you can resolve texts from the History tab as well. To do this, click on the Actions icon next to an unknown number and select Resolve. This will bring you back to the Unresolved tab where you'll take the same steps we just discussed. Finally, let's discuss how to access text messages from a customer's account. Within a customer's account, click on the text message icon to open a conversation with them. From here, messaging functions the same way as on the History tab within the Calls and Messages section. Remember, if the customer has multiple numbers associated with their account, you can use the reply to drop down to select which number you want to send a message to. When you're ready, simply click the Send button. To see a running list of text activity for the customer, you can click on the Activity tab within their account. That's all for our tutorial on how to send text messages. You should now have the knowledge and skills needed to find, manage, and send text messages in easy links. Thanks for watching.